OK, the first thing we're going to do as we build our desktop that lets us write our JavaScript programs is install a program called Git. <laughs> it's a great name, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I'm, I can't help that, I'm afraid. Um, Git is a program uh, written by Linus Torvalds, who also wrote a thing called Linux that you may have heard of. And it's designed to help you manage large software projects or even small ones. Uh, we're never actually going to not going to do much with Git itself directly, but we will use it via Visual Studio Code, which we shall be installing slightly later. Uh, OK, so the first thing you have to do is head to git-scm.com which is where I am now at the moment uh, and then you pick the version you want to install uh, the uh, system has figured out that actually I'm using a Windows PC and give me that option by default but you can bring it down for Mac and you can get versions for lots of other machines the Raspberry Pi uh, has Git built in when you install it on the uh, default Raspbian build so that would just work for you but we're going to have to do a bit of effort here so we're going to hit the download for Windows button and there will now be uh, a rattling noise standard browser stuff do you want to run it yes I do please now it gets scanned ticky 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 and once it's been scanned then we'll get the option to run it uh, as an installer and put it onto our machine here we go yes uh, I would like to have this installed that's fine so now in we come. Now, as I said, you won't actually use Git directly a lot. You can use it from the command prompt, or from PowerShell or whatever, but we're going to use it as part of the Visual Studio Code installation. Um, and uh, what it will do is, the first thing we'll do with it is fetch down from the uh, GitHub repository all the source code and examples for this book then you will have your own local copy of every single file that means two things it means you can fiddle with them as much as you like you can make changes make your own applications based on my ideas but also if anything horrible goes wrong and you lose your stuff it's really easy to go back to a place where things used to work or worst case download everything all over again uh, so Git is a great way to organize your work and allow you to work without a certain amount of fear in that you can create bench uh, waypoints, check-in points where you stop, make sure you've got a, a good clean copy of everything and then move on. This is taking a while, isn't it? Yes, that progress bar is chugging along. If I look behind here, of course, that is where it's waiting for me to press buttons. So we work through this. It's not particularly hard. You can pick all the defaults as you go through and they're fairly sensibly set up. Uh, and if we just keep on going, yes, this is all good stuff um, from the command. Line, yes, 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 this is all, all splendid. Um, and then uh, we can do that too. Uh, and then this as well and then keep on going. Just keep on pressing install and then wait for it to finish. And at some point, you get to the point where stuff starts to happening. Here we are. Uh, and uh, it's now being installed on my machine, which is lovely and exactly what I wanted. So once that's on, we won't actually start Git up because we don't have uh, a need to use it directly. But it's lurking in the background. It provides an underpinning, uh, a library of functions, if you like, that Visual Studio Code, which is the program we are really going to use uh, to actually do its stuff. So that's Git. That's all downloaded. You can read the release, release notes if you like, maybe even color them in. But we aren't going to do that. We're going to go straight on, and we're going to try and find ourselves a copy of Visual Studio Code because we love it. Here it is. Um, and if I hit the first link and I hit download for Windows, this is the one they keep horses in. Yes, it's the stable build. Uh, well, I had to say that, didn't I? So we'll hit that. Uh, there are versions for everything else as well, uh, but um, I'm going to use the Windows one. There's a Mac version and also a version for the uh, Raspberry Pi and other Linux-based devices. So if I hit Run here, that'll do the installer thing. A few more questions, a few more things to do, and then we'll be in business. We'll have both Visual Studio installed and we'll also have a system that does what I want. So I say I accept the agreement because I do. Um, interesting facts that you may not care about, um, although they are in the book, so so why not? Um, Visual Studio Code was actually, um, it's actually open source and it's written in uh, 
a version of JavaScript. So there you are. Um, it's actually a, a proper JavaScript program that runs on your desktop. It's faster to install than Git, so it would seem. So I now hit Finish, and as we shall see in a minute or two, we'll now have the Visual Studio program waking up and saying hello to us. Here it is. Now, this is... Yeah, OK, I'll, I'll let you do that. I don't mind. Uh, this is uh, going to go back to the website and uh, tell me all kinds of things I don't really care about, so I'll push that to the back and get this thing up here. Now we are up with Visual Studio Code, and we can do the next step of the process, which is to download and fetch all the samples, which we will do in the next installment. Isn't this exciting? Thank you for watching. If you weren't watching, if you were twiddling your thumbs, I disdain you. <laughs> More later.